What is Perl and what is it commonly used for? Perl is a high-level programming language used for a wide range of tasks, including system administration, web development, and data manipulation. How do you declare a variable in Perl and what are the different types of variables? In Perl, you declare a variable using the dollar symbol, and there are three types of variables, scalars, arrays, and hashes. What is the difference between scalars, arrays, and hashes in Perl? Scalars are used to store a single value, arrays are used to store multiple values in a list, and hashes are used to store key value pairs. How do you access the elements of an array or a hash in Perl? In Perl, you access the elements of an array or a hash using the dollar symbol and the index or key of the element. What is regular expression and how do you use it in Perl? A regular expression is a sequence of characters that forms a search pattern. In Perl, you can use regular expressions to match and manipulate strings. How do you create a subroutine in Perl and what is its syntax? To create a subroutine in Perl, you use the sub keyword followed by the name of the subroutine and its parameters. The syntax is sub my underscore subroutine. How do you use conditional statements in Perl and what are the different types of conditions? In Perl, you use conditional statements such as if, else, and else if to test conditions and control the flow of the program. The different types of conditions include numerical, string, and Boolean comparisons. What is the difference between EQ and equal sign in Perl and when would you use each one? The EQ operator is used to compare strings, while the equal sign operator is used to compare numbers. You would use EQ when comparing strings and equal sign when comparing numbers. How do you read input from a file in Perl and what are some best practices for doing so? In Perl, you can read input from a file using the less than sign operator and the file handle. Some best practices for reading files include checking for errors and using the strict and warnings pragmas. What is the use of the chump function in Perl? The chump function in Perl is used to remove the new line character from the end of a string. How do you open and close a file in Perl and what are some best practices for doing so? In Perl, you can use the open function to open a file and the close function to close it. It's best practice to check for errors when opening files and to use the three argument form of open to specify the mode. What is the difference between print and printf in Perl and when would you use each one? Print is used to print a string to the standard output, while the printf is used to format and print a string to the standard output. Printf is useful when you need to format the output in a specific way. How do you use for each loop in Perl and what is its syntax? The for each loop in Perl is used to iterate over a list or an array. Its syntax is, for each my dollar item, at list, where at list is the list or array to be iterated over. How do you use while loop in Perl and what is its syntax? The while loop in Perl is used to execute a block of code while a condition is true. Its syntax is, while condition, where condition is the condition to be checked. What is the difference between next and a last in Perl and when would you use each one? Next is used to skip the current iteration of a loop and move to the next one, while last is used to exit the loop. You would use next when you want to skip over certain elements in a loop, and you would use last when you want to exit the loop early. What is the difference between split and join in Perl and when would you use each one? Split is used to split a string into a list or an array, while the join is used to concatenate elements of a list or an array into a string. You would use split when you need to break a string into its components, and you would use join when you need to combine elements into a string. What is the difference between shift and unshift in Perl and when would you use each one? 
Shift is used to remove and return the first element of an array, while Unshift is used to add one or more elements to the beginning of an array. You would use Shift when you need to remove the first element of an array, and you would use Unshift when you need to add elements to the beginning of an array. What is the difference between push and pop in Perl, and when would you use each one? Push adds an element to the end of an array, while pop removes the last element of an array. You would use push to add an element to an array, and pop to remove the last element of an array. What is the use of the map function in Perl? The map function in Perl allows you to transform elements of an array according to a code block you provide. It returns a new array with the transformed elements. What is the use of the grep function in Perl? The grep function in Perl allows you to filter elements of an array according to a code block you provide. It returns a new array with the filtered elements. How do you create a module in Perl and what is its syntax? To create a module in Perl, you create a file with a .pm extension and include a package declaration. The syntax for a package declaration is package module name. What is the difference between use and require in Perl and when would you use each one? Both use and require are used to include code from other modules in your Perl program. The difference is that use is evaluated at compile time, while require is evaluated at runtime. You would use use for modules you need at compile time, and a require for modules you need at runtime. How do you use regular expressions to extract information from a string in Perl? In Perl, you can use regular expressions with the equals operator to match and extract information from a string. You can use capturing groups to extract specific parts of the string. What is the use of the my keyword in Perl and how does it differ from local? The my keyword in Perl is used to declare a variable with lexical scope. It differs from local in that it creates a new variable with each declaration, while local temporarily changes the value of an existing variable. What is the use of the eval function in Perl and what are some best practices for using it? The eval function in Perl allows you to evaluate a string as Perl code at runtime. It can be useful for dynamically generating code, but it can also be dangerous if used improperly. Best practices include validating user input before evaluating it and using exception handling to catch errors. Why is it worth subscribing to our YouTube channel? By subscribing to our YouTube channel, you will have access to a wealth of knowledge and insights about automation testing from industry experts, which can help you stay ahead of the curve in your career.